we're trying to develop something over the next two and a half years, at least the next two and a half years, and hopefully we prove it then also in uh, in Brazil, which leans more towards a style of play that becomes more proactive, that we take the things into our own hands. Um, that means it's a hell of a lot of work, guys. It means that we need to kind of step it up physically. We need to step it up, you know, in, in your mindset. That means speed of thought, speed of play, less contacts, you know, a lot of movement off the ball. All those elements we will introduce one step at a time. We are not expecting you to do that tomorrow or whatever. So we will work on that. You know, we, sometimes we let things just go. We let you play and have a really good time. And sometimes we will step in and he say we will say what we what we want to see and what we want to improve. So, but this this path is a, is a is a path that is necessary because it's not my idea, uh, or Martin's or Andy's or whoever's idea. It's because that's how the best in the world play. You know, they play proactively. They play. They read the game ahead. You know, they move into positions ahead. You know, they're constantly in a movement by one by moving. What you do? Create space. <laughs> you create space, um, and all those elements and uh, and everybody's talking about Spain and they're talking about Barcelona and. Barcelona didn't happen overnight, guys. Barcelona happened in more than 20 years. And Johan Cruyff started that process more than 20 years ago. And it took 20 years because all the players were then built in their academy, you know, one at a time. And if you don't want to play that style of play, like Ibrahimovic didn't want to play, or Ronaldinho didn't want to play that style, or Zambrotta, world champion in one, they move them on. Because the next one comes through the system. Uh, I'm not saying that we're going to copy them, no. No, we're going to build a team based on your strengths based on everyone's strength so so we will adjust things uh, the way we want to do it but uh, all I want to ask you is that just give it all you can you know look into the mirror at the end of the day and ask yourself did you give everything today and uh, um, and I tell you if you gave everything then at the end of the day you guys will move on every one of you every one of you uh, one one step at a time and uh, um, and that's it basically today um, we're going to do a good warm-up there with, with Massa for 20-25 minutes. We do some passing patterns and then we let you play four against four. I think you are hungry for the ball, so we let you express yourselves a bit. And, and obviously for us also an opportunity to get, a, to get to know you a little bit. Your movements, your way you play, especially for Andy. You know, it uh, uh, takes him a couple of days to get all your faces memorized, which all will go fine. And, uh, um, and that's it then for today. And I think... Uh, if we continue that way over the next two and a half weeks, then we're going to have a blast with the games. The games will be challenging, and that's what we want. Uh, and if you take it with the same open-mindedness, the same attitude as you today took it from from Coach Mark or yesterday from Danielle and stuff like that, then guys, then we're on the right track.